Hello, welcome to part two. Now we're gonna add a menu page to our game. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is add a new layout. And to add a new layout, you go here where it says layouts. You right click and add layout. It's going to ask you this, just say add event sheet because we're gonna use an event sheet. So if you remember we're gonna resize this layout and it was about 640 by 480 so we're going to do that so now that we have that we can go ahead and add a background to add a background we just double click anywhere but instead of sprite you're going to use the tile background so just click insert and click anywhere we're gonna open this screen and you can pick a color, a friendly color maybe. And I'm just gonna pick this green, it's already here. And then exit when you're done. You can also import your own pictures or anything that looks nice. But I'm just going to use green for now. So you can resize this background to be about the same size as the layout. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger just in case I don't want anything like this to show up. Okay, so now we have our lap, our background, and we're gonna rename this background. So now we need a title, so we're gonna we're going to add a new text. So double click anywhere and click in this text and insert. And once again, click anywhere. And this is going to be the text. So here in properties, we can change here, here where it says text. You can input the text that you actually want. This is going to be our title, so I'm going to write the title of my game, which was demo. And here we can change the font size. Just click it. And you choose something large, maybe 48. And you choose for You can also change the font and the font style. I'm just gonna leave it. And you see how nothing shows up? It's because the font is too large. We need to expand the box. So I'll go here, expand it until you can read it. And put it somewhere I guess in the center. And we're going to want to add another oh oh we should rename it actually. Rename it to title. And you can double click again, create another text. We want to be able to show the score that the last person showed. So we're going to change this to your last zero. I'm just gonna leave it about the same. You can make it larger if you want. Uh, maybe 20. You can notice it. And later we're going to change this to the actual score. So we don't want this to appear again, so we're going to make this take as much space as possible. Just in case somebody gets a really, really long score. And I'm going to rename this, te this text uh, score. And I'm going to insert a new one. I'm going to insert a button this time. When you click this button, it will take you to your game. So once again, you can go here to properties. And you see where it says text. This is what it says the button displays. I'm going to put... You also increase the skies. And now that we have that, we can move on to the event sheet. We want it so that every time I click this button, it'll take me to the actual game layout. So in order to do that, just right click off anything, go to edit event sheet, and it'll open the event sheet for layout 2. So 
So we're going to add some events here. The first one is going to be the OK button. So when someone pushes the OK button, or here on click, click this one here, we want the system to go to layout. And here I haven't named the layout, so I should name the layout. But I think it was layout one. So I'm going to na name the layouts now. I'm going to rename them. The first one was, I'm just going to call it game. That's where the game is. And I'm going to rename the second layout menu because that is the menu. So you see here it changed. On click, go to game. Another thing we need to insert here in this event sheet is the score, the actual uh, a variable that will keep track of the score. So you can go to system and you can go to actually no, it's not there. Go to right click, go to add global variable, and here you can name it score. And click OK, and now we have a score tracker or a variable that keeps track of the score. So another thing we need to do is add another event. That will change the, the score text to the actual score whenever this layout is started. So what we do is go to system and on start of layout should be here somewhere. On start of layout, go to add action. And we're going to set text of the score. It should be set text to change what it actually is going to say. And here you input your, your string. To put a variable, what you need to do is put the and, the ampersand, so and, and you just type in the name of your variable, which we name score. So now, whenever it begins, it's going to put instead of zero, just the actual score. So now we have that. We need to do a few changes to our event sheet one. So the first thing you're going to do is here where it says hero on collision with the losing condition instead of restarting the layout we're going to change it to go to layout because we want to go back to the menu whenever you lose or someone the player loses and we're going to want to add another event you're going to add another event system every x seconds so the way we're going to score a game should be or I'm going to do it as every second I'm going to give the player a point. So every one second I'm going to go to system um, set or add to add to score the value of one. So every second you get one point. So the longer you stay alive the higher the score. And we need another event here. Go to system every tick so every time every, for every tick what we want to do is set the, the score on the actual player an actual game which we should probably do here so we open this game here double click insert a new text and we're going to change what it says here in text properties score And we're gonna every tick we're gonna change this to whatever the actual score is. So here in system every tick we're gonna go to add action. Text I haven't I haven't named it yet I'll name it after. Set text to the actual same string. The 
the ampersand and type in a variable name which is score. Click done. Now we only need one more. So click here. Go to system. So on start of layout, we need to reset the score. So we need to find on start of layout. Add action and system set value score back to zero and click done. And now we can test our game to see if it works. Actually, before we start the game, go to mint, go to the demo, your actual name project here in the project bar. And if you look here, it says first layout when the person plays your game, this is going to be the layout that will initially load when the project is run. So just click menu because because we want that one to go first. And you could now you can click play and test your game. So now we have our menu here and we have this button here. Click play. And it will take us to the second menu where you can play the game. And see how our score is actually going up every second I get a point. And if I lose, it's going to display the last score that I had. And you can try it again. So now say I have I'm gonna earn about five points or four. It stays four. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'm gonna send up set up one more video that will explain how to make your game Windows 8 compatible and then how to upload it to the Windows 8 store.